Greetings to everyone! I am Jamie Maria Frost from 11 STEM A and I am going to discuss to you the rational function, specifically finding the x-intercept, y-intercept, finding the zero, vertical asymptotes, and horizontal asymptotes. <laughs> Y-intercept, let x is equals to 0. Finding the 0, um, kung ano pa yung magiging sagot natin sa x-intercept, yun din po magiging sagot natin sa find the 0. Vertical asymptotes, we have to find, um, we have to solve the x in denominator. And horizontal asymptotes, we have three rules. If m is equals to n, um, let m and n is the degree of numerator and denominator. If m is equals to n, y is equals to a over b. If m is less than n, y is equals to 0. If m is greater than n, then walang magiging horizontal asymptotes. So, for example, is 5x plus 25 over x minus 7. In order for us to find the x-intercept, we have to solve the x in numerator. Kunyari is 5x plus 25. Let's just equate this to 0. Transpose 5x was to negative i 25 and then divide it, divide both sides by 5 para makansa natin yung 5 so magiging um magiging x is equals to f 2 negative 5 or simply as um negative 5 and 0 next in order for us to find the y intercept let x is equals to 0 so, copy the, copy the original equation. Then, um, replace the x with zeros. So, 5 times 0 plus 25. 0 minus 7. 5 times 0 is equal to 0. 0 is still a 0. So, definitely, definitely it will be um, negative, negative 25 over 7. Because negative, um, positive 25 over negative 7, therefore our fraction will be a negative. So, kapag ginawa natin siyang coordinate, magiging 0, negative 25 over 7. Next, to find the 0, um, yun nga yung sabi ko kanina na kung ano yung magiging sagot natin sa x-intercept, yun din na magiging sagot natin sa to find the zeros. So, ibig sabihin, negative 5 ang To find the vertical asymptotes naman is um, solve the x for in denominator. So, magiging x minus 7 is equals to 0. Equate lang natin sa 0. So, transpose yung negative 7. So, magiging x is equals to positive 7. And that's it. So, tignan naman natin sa horizontal asymptotes. Ang degree ng numerator denominator is 1. Kasi 1, tignan nyo, 1 yan, 1. Ibig sabihin nyan is 1. So, it means that n that m is equals to n. So, kapag equals daw ang degree ng numerator denominator, ang magiging horizontal asymptote natin is y is equals to a over b. Um, ang a over b natin is yung magiging leading coefficient ng numerator and denominator, which is 5 over 1. So, 5 divided by 1 is 5. Last example is this one. Medyo mahirap siya if you're going to look because we have to factor out the denominator in order for us to solve the vertical asymptotes. So, let's solve for the x-intercept first. 8x minus 16 is equals to 0. Transpose the, the negative 16. Magiging 8x is equals to positive 16. And then, divide lang sa 8. And then, cancel. Magiging x is equals to... 2. Or, kung gagawin natin siyang coordinates, magiging 2, 0. Next, y-intercept. Palitan lang ng mga 0, yung mga, palitan lang ng mga x, yung, ah, palitan ng 0 yung mga x. So, magiging 8, 0, minus 16, over 0 squared plus 5 times 0, 
plus 6. Kung makikita ninyo, 8 times 0 is still a 0. So, i-cancel out na lang natin yan. 0 squared, 0 pa rin. 5 times 0 is still a 0. So, magiging negative 16 over 6. So, ayun yung sagot. Pero, kung gagawin natin siyang coordinates, magiging 0, negative 16 over 6. Next, to find the 0 as... As I have said earlier, kung anong magiging sagot natin sa x-intercept, yun din ang magiging sagot natin sa to find the zero. So, x is equals to 2. So, magiging equals to 2. Easy as that. So, sa so vertical asymptotes, dito na medyo tayo mapapaisip because we have to factor out the x squared plus 5x plus 6. So, kung if factor out natin sila, magiging x, x, um, we have to find um, numbers, two numbers na kapag minultiply natin is magiging 6. And kapag pinas naman natin is magiging 5. So, yan. So, ang man naisin natin doon is 3 and 2. Kasi, if you can see, 3 times 2 is 6. 2x plus 3x is 5x. So, magiging ganyan. So, nakuha na natin yung factor na ito. So, ang gagawin naman is 2, um, Equate this to 0. So, equals to 0. X plus 2 is equals to 0. So, transpose lang natin. Transpose lang natin. X is equals to negative 3. And X is equals to negative 2. Next, to find the horizontal asymptotes, ang pinaka-last step is, tignan natin kung ano yung magiging, anong degree ng numerator and denominator. Kung makikita natin, ito ay 1. And this one is 2. So, anong dapat natin gawin pag ganun? So, as you can see, m, m is less than n. Kasi 1 is less than 2, ba? So, ang gagawin natin doon, dahil may rules tayong ganito, if m is less than n, then it's equals to, and then y is equals to 0. So, ang horizontal asymptotes natin is 0. I hope you all learned something new. Thank you and goodbye.